Hey, this is Michael Penny with Teens Wanna Know, and today we're here at the 19th Annual Tony Awards Viewing Party, hosted by the Actors Fund. Let's see who we can talk to. What are you most excited for about today's event? Um, I'm hoping to get uh, some ni a nice chicken dinner. <laughs> for sure. That's how I look, because usually, usually they're really terrible. Yeah. You know, but I'm hoping tonight, tonight will be the night. Tonight will be the night when I get the really good chicken okay, dinner. Good chicken. Yeah. All right. So now you're being honored today with a, an Artistic Achievement Award. What would you say has been your biggest achievement outside of the arts? Uh, maybe uh, making my daughter. That was pretty, pretty important. Uh, uh, yeah, that's about it, really. I mean, I think, uh, you know, work is work, life is life, you know what I mean? So you are a family man then yourself, right? Yeah, yeah, I've got a family, you know, I've, 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 uh, I've raised kids and uh, they, that's, a, you know, something I'm very proud of. And not, not that I'm saying that I did it particularly brilliantly, but, uh, you know, I'm not talking about the quality of the, of, the, uh, of the child raising, but certainly I went through the experience of it. So what are you most excited for about tonight's event? Well, it'll be a thrill to see the Tonys. I love to see the Tonys. Sure. Now, um, you know, with video and movies on demand being so popular and so accessible, what do you think draws people back to the theater? The thrill of a live performance. And now, um, you know, you're being honored with an Artistic Achievement Award tonight. What would you say is your biggest achievement outside of the arts? To just keep showing up. Tim Curry is very eccentric. Do you have any funny, yeah. funny moments from working with him on the set well, that you, you could? You know what's so surprising is that Tim is very funny and he does tell jokes and he's very charismatic. However, my memories of him as a 10-year-old young girl were that he was so kind. He was very protective of me. We had to do a very action sequence, stunt work on a bridge, and he had to kind of throw me over and kind of roughhouse with me, you know, acting roughhouse. But he was afraid he really was pulling too hard. He's like, are you okay? Careful that little step there. I noticed there's a little... He's so kind. Wow. in real life. So what, a, what an actor, what a talented person that he can be crazy on TV and in movies, on stage, and so kind in real life. So now you were in you know, one of the most definitive teenage movies ever. How do you think teenage life has changed since then? Uh, I, I just think the whole world is a little meaner now. <laughs> I, yeah. I, just, I just think, you know, I mean, I think certainly uh, when I was a real teenager and not a teenager in the movies, <laughs> uh, things things seem to be a little softer and a little easier for kids. I mean, there's, there's certain things that have improved, like um, uh, things are a little bit easier for gay kids now than they were 40 years ago, right? Yeah. I mean, so that's wonderful, but in terms of just the world and making a living and what are you gonna do with your life, it's, it's tough for kids right now. It's uh, a lot more cynical. It is, yeah. Well, so Kids are asked to grow up so, so quickly. Fast. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. If you guys could travel back in time and give one piece of advice to your teenage selves, what would it be? Patience. Mm. Be patient. There's no rush. Life is long. Don't worry so much. Mm. <laughs> Just take it easy. Yeah. Now I want to ask you guys, with, with you know, movies and video on demand being so accessible now, what do you think still draws people back to the theater? There's nothing like the live experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, having done all of them, I, there's something special about making each one, um, but sitting and watching live theater is really moving. It's, true, it's truly interactive. Yeah. On TV and film, you really don't know what the audience thinks. Yeah. You have to wait until you hear see the reviews or or people come up to you and say, hey, I saw you in such and such, I really liked it. But theater is live, and you know right then and there. Whatever happens that night in the theater, it's only for one night. It's a fleeting, perfect moment that 
everything good that happens and everything bad that happens, only people in the theater get to experience it. No matter what, there's no feeling like being in a theater and being able to, to feel within yourself as an audience member the energy from the actors on stage. It's very different than watching content at home on your laptop or your, uh, your iPad or your television. Um, there, it's communal. You're there with a group of people and you're all sort of having this collective experience in the dark watching this thing happen on stage. The idea that something could go wrong yeah. and that it's not going to be the same performance tomorrow night that it is tonight. This will happen now and it'll never be repeated. There's something really incredibly, there's a word, um, temporal. Um, it's very, very temporal. Now what's the funniest moment um, you can tell us about working on the set of Jesse? Um, they're all freaks. They're all crazy. <laughs> I love them. I grew up with them. You know, when I got there, yeah. they were 11, 12 years old, and now they're driving to work. <laughs> yeah, now they're like 16. I must be crazy. They're shaving. <laughs> so no, we're not allowed to date yet. <laughs> I'm not letting them date yet. I think that live performance is always the most exciting because you never know what's going to happen. And it, the human element is always the most inspiring. There's nothing like intimacy. For sure. Now it's time for our time machine question. If you could travel back in time and give one piece of advice to your teen self, what would it be? Shake it off. <laughs> oh no, you are a seasoned Broadway actress. Yeah, I've got a Tony nomination under my belt. It's been great being nominated for a Tony and all of that, yeah. So what, what's been the funniest moment for you working on, on a play? I think the funniest moment for me was also the most difficult moment for me. I was up on stage and after having done the show for about two and a half years, I completely forgot all of my lines. No. I, my mind went blank. I could hear the stage manager saying her mic is her mic Mike is dead. Her mic is bit dead. And then I could hear the lead manager saying, no, her brain is dead. Her brain is dead. Do you have theater experience yourself? Um, I have did a play here once in here, but this is actually my first, like, singing thing, so hey. um, it's pretty cool. I can't wait to do it. So. Can you give us a little taste? Are your vocal, are your vocals warmed up? Okay. <laughs> That's my, um, no, no, it's not. Okay, uh, so, um, let's see. Sidewalk tree. Now, what's the, phone, what's the funniest moment you can tell us about from working on the set? Like, you seem like someone who play like, pranks. Do you do that? Um, I'm not the guy who sets up, like, all the creative stuff, but I'm... Okay, I got it. I get it. Okay. I'm the one who scare people. I I just go around their back, like, in the, dark, on the darkest place and just go... Bah! Just pop out. Yeah, I just pop out and bam. And they get so scared, like, they look like they just turn into a little, little... Ah! Hi, my name is Lisa Ann Walter, but you might know me better from the movie The Parent Trap, where I was Chessie the nanny. That's usually where teens recognize me. For sure, that movie's a classic. I mean, I grew up on it, so. I know. I know. And you know what? There is nothing better than having young people run up and hug you and kiss you and say wonderful things like, I loved you. You were my favorite character. I wish you were my mom. And their mom's standing right there. I'm like, shut that's up. Little, that's little shut little up. Little. Yeah. But you know what? My own kids are like jerks sometimes so if other people yeah, it makes up for it you yeah, know totally now you're being honored tonight tell, t tell us a little bit about like what that means to you well i'm old enough to have received several honors like this before but uh, I'm actually very pleased because the Actors Fund is, is my favorite organization. It helps more people, more people, more of the time than any other outfit that I know that I'm involved with. So tell us a little bit about Spies in Training. Yeah, I am producing a web series. Hey. <laughs> Surprise, everybody! <laughs> um, I can do anything. No, I'm kidding. Um, I can't. That's a lie. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm producing a web series called Spies and Trading with a friend of mine, Blake Spears, uh, who created it. And um, it's about this unlikely duo of like totally normal boys who uh, get recruited into a top secret spy program and they have to kind of navigate their way through it and, and figure out what they're going to do. So we just shot four episodes of it and um, I wasn't able to go to the shoot because I was working, but from what I hear, everything turned out wonderfully. Um, I love our cast. They're very talented. They're so sweet and they've become really, really close and they 
they become like family during it. So I'm very proud of them. Hey, I'm Ashley Aragota, and you're watching Teens Want to Know. 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 Woohoo! You're watching Teens Want to Know. 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 Hi, this is Alfred Molina for Teens Want to Know. Because they really do, apparently. my head open. I don't have any protection up here. Your phone, your phone cover looks like my grandma's couch. Hey. <laughs> doesn't it look, doesn't it look like your dad's, looks like your dad's kitchen table. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback. Thank you so much. Pleasure meeting you.